Hello, this is uh, K6OZY here. Uh, just recording this so I can ask a question on the Elecraft uh, Reflector uh, and the Elecraft Yahoo group regarding uh, proper operation of my uh, KAT500 and uh, KPA500 in conjunction with my Flex3000. Currently I have it, um, the Flex3000 RF going into a um, module for the W2, the low 200 watt HF, then going uh, down into the KPA and then up into the KAT and then out to my antenna, which currently right now is an Alpha Delta uh, DXEE uh, fan dipole. I am uh, confused because for some reason I was under the misconception potentially that the KAT uh, will not allow the KPA to PTT uh, if the SWR isn't uh, low enough for proper safe operation of the amp. I have the key line coming out through the Flex 3000 into the KAT and then passing through down into the KPA. And uh, so I have a fresh frequency here that needs to be tuned up. And um, on the Flex radio here, I will tune it at 25 watts. I'll end up uh, you know, clicking on the tune button and um, I want it to trigger a tune. My, my understanding was that the um, KAT would sense that there is not a match and would not pass through the PTT a key line trigger down to the KPA to, for, safe, uh, for safety. Then it would sit there on low power, uh, barefoot power from the flex tune for uh, a bit and then after it finds a proper match it would bring up the uh, KPA. And then future uh, PTTs would obviously trigger a memory and it wouldn't do that anymore. Um, on the um, KAT utility, um, I went in and reconfigured the um, utility to use uh, a VSWR threshold it had 99 in here, and I changed it to uh, 2.1. Uh, I had it at 3. So my understanding of that feature was that it would uh, not pass the key line through to the KPA if the SWR was above 2.1, and then as soon as a match is made, um, it would then pass the key line through. Um, maybe I'm not understanding exactly how these settings are, but that's, that was my understanding for the manual. So I'm going to hit tune and I want to record what goes on here. It does pass through the key line to the amp. The amp actually freaks out because it's not matched and uh, the KAT is not cutting the key line. It throws the KPA into a fault um, which obviously defeats the whole purpose of automatic tuning. My goal is to put this in a remote location and be able to rely on having the KAT in auto and have it properly find a, a match uh, and, and keep the KPA safe uh, at all times. Uh, my future plan is to put this with a Flex 6700 at my uh, remote location. So here let me demo this and see if this will um, fault for the camera here. There's the match. But now the KPA is in is in fault, and obviously the air is is come on is reflect high, so it, it faulted because of uh, a mismatch, uh, too much SWR. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Sorry about that. Um, so is this normal? As you can see that time, it seemed to work properly. I'm on 17 meters doing a tune. So now I'm going to switch to another frequency and uh, try it again. And I'll cut this uh, back in a second. Okay, here's a tune on the lower half of 80. Let's see what it does. So as you can see, it didn't disconnect the key line. It found a match, but um, it, it didn't turn off the key line. 
and it put the KPA in default. So now if I drop the, the PTT, and I go reset the fault and put it back into OPER, um, it'll obviously work here going forward, see, properly. It's uh, working as intended. But I'm confused at why it did not um, cut the key line to the KPA when it immediately detected a mismatch. Um, and it was a fresh band change as well. So I want to try to recreate it a couple more times. It seems to be intermittent. I can't quite put my finger on it. That's why I'm not convinced this isn't user error. And uh, try it again. Let me try tuning on another band. Okay, I did a fresh switch to the top end of 20. And I'm going to try a tune again. Let's see what it does. Okay, that must have had a memory. So that was immediate, and it passed it through. Uh, let me uh, go down to the bottom half of 20 and see if it if it has a memory for it. And uh, I'm going to try it right here. And it does. Uh, let me switch uh, to 15. Go down to the bottom half of 15. Do another tune. Memorized match. Um, we go up to the top half of 15 and uh, see what it has. Memorized tune. Okay, trying to tune right now. Okay, that was pretty darn quick. That's awesome. Uh, let me switch up to a, a 10. I'm going to go to the top half of 10 and try another tune. And here we go. See, that, that time it properly cut the key line. The key line was cut and it tuned and then brought it up after it found the match. So that's why I'm confused. It seems to do it on some bands and it doesn't do it on, on all the bands. Uh, down to 80, bottom half of 80, memorized match, uh, 160. I don't know if this thing if this thing matches on 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 160. I'm I'm going to be thoroughly impressed. Let's try this. See. Wow! I can't believe it matched that. But see, that properly cut the key line. That's the operation I would expect it to do. It doesn't seem consistent. I've had it fault multiple times up in 40 and 20 all day today by not um, cutting the key line when it detects um, a mismatch on a band change. I'm um, here in the middle of 40. Let me try the middle of 40 again. That one worked. So, I don't know guys. Uh, what do you think? Am I doing something wrong here? Or um, is there something else that I should try? Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I figured a video would do better than uh, posting, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Uh, K6 is a Y. Talk to you later. Bye.